It's Unit for True Game Heads, and I'm here at Capcom's booth with Sean. He's going to tell us a little bit about Lost Planet 2. Hi, how's it going? All right. All right. So one of the big new things for Lost Planet 2 is the co-op. So it's four-player co-op. You'll be able to play it online with your buddies. Real quick, another new thing right there, you can run. So the game's going to be a little bit faster paced this time around. And of course, it just wouldn't be Lost Planet without big bosses. We'll see you in just a second here. This guy's called the Salamander. He's one of the few of what we're calling Category G Anchor. They're about as big as they get. And the cool thing about this guy, he's one of the smaller ones. They'll only get bigger. So the BS is a made a return. And they're obviously perfect for taking out the big anchor like this. The great part is in co-op you can actually have people ride on with you. Some of the VSAs actually have complete multiplayer where someone will be driving and another person can actually just control the guns independently. This particular guy you want to take out the big old spike on top of his head. Once you actually shoot it down to a little nub, it's actually not gone, it's retreating inside his body. So you want to take out his legs and he'll fall down with his mouth wide open and crawl in and fight him from inside his guts. We'll try to do that real quick. As I beat this guy up, one of the things you'll notice is how good the game looks. We're using a new engine called MT Framework 2. The great part is about that is that this is still in development, so it's only going to get better. Wow. Alright, let's get inside there. That was on top, it's actually retreated inside, so now you can just shoot it here. So ideally what you can do is you can have someone inside of here shoot this, and a couple guys up on top on his back on the outside, helping you as well. But it's a major weak spot, so it'll take the guy down a lot faster. So will this game be fully co-op in, in the single player missions, or just? Yeah, so this is the campaign. So there's not really so much a single player as much as there is a real campaign. That campaign is really focused on this whole co-op experience. So you just got shot out his butt. Another brand new thing, you can repair the VSs. It's just expensive thermal energy. So now, you're not hopelessly entering a VS that you know is gonna break. Instead, you can hop in one, repair it, and then really do some damage instead of worrying about how long you're gonna survive. So I shot that spike, now it's huge again. Pretty simple, and each each boss is gonna have its own unique thing like that where co-op really plays a factor in making sure that you take them down. Doing this by yourself, as I'm showing here, is actually pretty difficult. So, so this time around, it's more focusing on you as an independent character, an individual. So your character is your own. You customize them how you want. So not just your appearance, but you can also tweak your weapons. And uh, in the multiplayer mode, in the first one, you had taunts. So if you look here, you can still do the taunts by pushing start and then left or right on the D-pad, up, down. But now there's eight taunts. So you can use your bumpers and your triggers, and they're all customizable to how you want. So we'll have a ton of new taunts, and it'll all be programmable to your own tastes. So it's safe to say, like, you're asking about the characters? You'll probably never run into anyone who's exactly like you. You'll probably be a, your own individual with all the options that we have. It'll be great. That sounds good. Well, the game is definitely looking tight, man. You guys are doing a knockout job with it, and we look forward to playing it. All right. Thanks again, man. Yeah, thank you. All right.